SOLIDWORKS Simulation offers three different types of mesh elements, the most common of which is a solid element. These are 3D elements that are best suited for solid geometry, like the landing gear shown here. A solid mesh looks something like this. Let's zoom in so you can take a closer look. And from the surface, it looks like these are triangles, but really, they're solid shapes with three dimensions. These shapes are called tetrahedrons. Let's take a closer look at what a tetrahedron really is. At first, this might look like a regular old pyramid, like the ones in Egypt, but in fact it's not. Those pyramids have five sides, four of which are triangles and one is a square. But a tetrahedron is made up of only triangles, and this makes a tetrahedron really an interesting shape in that it's one of only five shapes that are known as platonic solids, named after the Greek philosopher Plato, who thought these shapes were the building blocks of the classical elements of life. But now we know the tetrahedron as the building block of simulation. To create a tetrahedron, I can take this flat triangle and split it into four smaller but similar triangles. And as you can see, each point where these intersect is the intersection of exactly three edges. In simulation, these intersection points are known as nodes. To help visualize this, I'll add some color to this and begin making my tetrahedron. I'll do that by just folding up each of these faces at an angle of about 109 degrees also known as the tetrahedral angle. And here's the tetrahedron. As you can see, this solid has four vertices, or nodes, and at each one of these nodes, there are exactly three edges. In simulation, this is what we call a draft quality solid element. Look to our other videos as we talk more about simulation and the other great SOLIDWORKS tools.